Okay, good morning. Uh, we've got another video this morning on the Buffalo men's Alpine jacket that I'm wearing now. Um, I've been after something like this for ages. So I just wanted to share you some of my thoughts about it and to give you an idea of um, some of the spec of it, just in case you're looking for a jacket this winter or for next winter or for whenever. Um, so I personally was looking for something with, with a full zip that I could just chuck on to use if I was just going for a walk or if I was doing something fairly um, sort of heavier, you know, something if I'm going up on Dartmoor or something like that where the conditions would be um, a little bit tougher. Um, so here we go. So this is the Alpine jacket and it's the men's one. This is a, the color is bark. Now they do two colors. They do bark and russet in the men's one, okay. Um, Sizes wise, they do a small, medium, large and extra large. So that's a little bit different to some of their other models that they do where they do it in chest sizes. This one I've got is a large. So the size equates to chest sizes on a small, it's 36 to 39. Medium, 39 to 42. A large is a 42 to 45 and an extra large is approximately 45 to 48. So again, they're approximate sizes, but hopefully that will give you, um, you know, an idea. So straight away, I love this jacket. As soon as I got it, put it on, feels comfortable straight out of the packet. You know, the thing I love about Buffalo, obviously made here in the UK up in Sheffield, you know, they've got years of experience in this kind of technical um, garment as with all their stuff. So, you know, they know what they're doing and there's a lot of thought goes in with what they're producing, the fabrics that they're using and the kind of research and development they've, uh, they've done over, you know, 30 odd years of, of, you know, in this industry. So we'll start off with the outer fabric on this one. Um, it's called a P-form shell fabric which is, um, it's a, a polyamid fabric, which is obviously synthetic. It's produced in, in Belgium and obviously shipped over. Now, if you recognize that fabric, they use it on their active shirt as well. Um, so the advantages of this, it's got a, a thicker DNA, uh, sorry, denier weave. Um, which is a lot harder wearing. So, you know, when you get some of, I don't know, maybe some of the competitors' jackets, they've got this really thin weave and, you know, a thin fabric. And, you you know, if you're up, it's easy to, to damage it. And I don't think you get the, the sort of thermal properties of it. And you certainly don't get the durability. So, um, you know, I like this fabric. Um, and, you know, we, we certainly never had any complaints about it, but that to me is a big plus, is the weave of this fabric. It's a, a stronger, it's, you know, it's, it's a more durable, heavier weave. So um, hopefully that'll give you a bit of an insight on that. Now it, it's coated in a, like a durable waterproof finish. Um, and I just said, sorry, waterproof, water repellent then water repellent finish. So that'll give you an idea. And I'm actually gonna do a separate video about this um, because I think that's something that you need to know about or something to consider when you're washing. And for some people, they reproof fabrics. Um, so we've got some advice regarding Buffalo and this. Anyway, back to this one. So their pile lining they use on this one is their Aquatherm pile lining, which is used on, on other garments. As you know, the way in which it works is fantastic. Um, you know, the way in which it traps the, the air and just, you know, it's just their, their DNA, their product, isn't it? It's just, it, it works. It's, it's sort of basic, but it works very, very well. And it has done for years. It's, like I say, no need to change it. So on this one, we've got a full zip, which I'll show you. So we've got a full zip. Um, we've also got two pockets and they're you know, they're big pockets on the front. We've got the Velcro cuff closures on the arms, both arms. I've obviously got the hood and we can adjust the hood with a couple of little toggles if we want. Um, it's obviously, it's a little bit longer, um, longer at the back. So it's their normal sort of length 
to, to sort of cover your, your berm. You've also got a couple of side toggles on the side. Now, um, there's something, right, okay, so there's something that is really good about this, is that the panel which they use on their shoulder, the way in which they've designed it and the way they do it is that if you was to be wearing, say, a heavy rucksack or a rucksack, and you had to move, if you move with the garment on, the whole garment doesn't move with you, okay? Like, you know when, when some, just say if you're climbing or you, as soon as you put your arm up, the whole blinking thing comes up, okay? Well, it doesn't. The way in which this panel's designed, it's, you know, it, it's a lot better for that. So if you, I don't know, you've got walking poles and you're walking, you know, um, it's just a lot better. You've got more flexibility on the shoulder. It's obviously, with that extra panel, it's probably a little bit more harder wearing as well. So that is a real plus, you know, something that, that uh, I really like about that. Um, sort of windproofing wise, you say it's windproof up to 50 mile an hour. I don't know how they, they do it, but you know, that's, it's, it's probably about 50 mile an hour, which is pretty good. Um, so I think this can be used for in so many different places. If you're going down to the pub on a cold day, you can wear it, you can vent it. Okay, we're just undoing the zip, you know, it doesn't have the side, side zips and stuff. So the venting comes from the, the actual zip on the front. Um, obviously, remember the way in which Buffalo are designed really, there's no good putting three or four layers underneath it. This is sufficient either next to the skin or just with a base layer or a mid layer or something like that, rather than, you know, like t-shirts and hoodies and one thing and another. It will be more effective and it will perform better uh, in that way rather than putting loads of layers underneath it. But as well, you know, if you're going to some high altitude or you're doing something on top of mountains, all the rest of it, then, you know, it will still perform really, really well. And again, you know, you've only got to look back at people that use Buffalo products to see the kind of things that they do and, you know, and how well they perform. I mean, this jacket retails at about £278 at the moment. So a lot of people say, crikey, that's quite a lot of money. And it is a lot of money, but when you compare that to what else is on the market, you know, you're getting a British made product here. Um, you know, it is not down, it's not got your synthetic fabrics, meaning that, you know, in, in time, you know, three, five, 10 years, this will still be performing as it is from the day you bought it. Whereas, you know, there's an argument to say that primal often down, you know, what happens after three, five years, after 10 years, you know, do they still perform in the same way? And obviously you can see just how much those kind of products are as well. Um, so, you know, I think you've still got good value for money with this. And as well, you've got the added advantage that just say you rip it or you, I don't know, you, it, something happens to it and you need it repaired. It can go straight back to the factory in Sheffield and, you know, there's obviously a repairing service there that they can do. So there we go. Um, hopefully that has helped you a little bit and give you an idea. Like I said, I will be testing it out over the next um, coming months. I've already wore it a couple of times, you know, in the really cold weather and, you know, fantastic. I, I really like it. It's, it's, it's really comfy. And again, it just goes to my little Buffalo collection um, that I've got. And, um, you know, yeah, we just keep having fun with it and try and be as comfy as possible. So these will be on our website as well. As you know, you know, production is not easy at the moment with, with delays of this, that and the other. So um, look on Camouflage Outdoors because, you know, they will be on there with all the Buffalo products. So normally there's sort of like a 12 to 14 week waiting list if we haven't got something in stock. So look, I hope that helps you. So this is the Buffalo Men's Alpine Jacket. See you later. Bye bye.